Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a bingo card with numbers using software called Bingo Card Printer, which you can download from bingocardprinter.com. This is what the initial screen of the software looks like. Um, I click Create New Bingo Card Project, and I now get a choice of what kind of bingo cards I'd like to create and what kind of items I'd like to appear on the bingo card. So I can start from blank and into my own words. I can start with alphabets. Um, but if I scroll down on this uh, in this tab here, there are numbers. 1 to 49, 1 to 75, 1 to 99. There are also options like Roman numerals, and in the math tab, there are things like fractions, decimals, even numbers only, prime numbers, odd numbers, powers of two, and so on. But for the simple numbers here, they're all in the simple tab. And I simply select the one I want and click OK. And I've now created a bingo card in this example with the numbers 1 to 75 on it. Um, I can also delete items and add items, although I don't need to do that in this particular case. Um, I um, can change the bingo card size. I can make a 4x4 bingo card, I can make a 6x6, 7x7, but we'll stick in this example to a 5x5 bingo card. I can change the heading. Um, I can put in numbers if I wanted to be the heading, or I can leave it as bingo. I can turn on the heading off as well. I can change whether it's not to have the free space square in the middle. Um, and I can change what the text of the free space is. Um, this example here, the bingo card, is shown with the numbers initially in uh, sequential order, but in the real bingo cards, the numbers will be shuffled about and randomly selected so every bingo card is different. Um, but uh, I will now show you that you can also change the colors and the formatting of the bingo cards. So I can change, for example, fonts and the colors. If I change the colors, I can change the colors of the squares. I can say, let's use a checkerboard and use two colors. Um, I can change the free space uh, square color, make that maybe a pink square. And I can change the heading, so I'll make that maybe light blue, just for an example. And you'll see that's what this example would now look like with these colors that I've selected. Um, now ready to print. I can choose whether or not to print the call list. That's basically a list of these items in a random order. Um, it's optional. I can turn it off by just unchecking that button, but it can be handy for some people as it can be used to play the game of bingo without having to pull items out of a hat or anything like that. So it's quite uh, useful. Um, I can choose um, how many um, bingo cards I want to appear on each sheet of paper when I print them. Obviously, if I put more bingo cards on a page, the bingo cards will be smaller. Uh, but if I'm printing a large number and provided I'm prepared to cut the paper up if I want to give one bingo card to each player, smaller bingo cards, multiple per page, would allow me to save paper. Um, and I can choose how many different bingo cards I want to print. Um, I can put in 8, I can put in 80, I can put in 800, I can put in 8,000, I can put in up to 9,999. And when I do that, every bingo card will be different, containing a different combination of items. So let's put in uh, 25 as just an example. And um, I'm now ready to do print. I will do print preview so you can see on screen what the um, example bingo cards would look like. The first page here is the call list. These are the numbers in random order. Um, the next page will be the first bingo card. I'll zoom out a bit so you can see the whole bingo card. Um, and as you can see, the numbers are positioned randomly around the bingo card. By the next page, you'll see the next uh, bingo card is completely different, the third one is different again, and the fourth one is different, and so on. There's a very uh, easy way to produce lots of um, custom bingo cards very quickly. Uh, as well as doing uh, numbers, this uh, software can also produce bingo cards with letters, with words and phrases, uh, there's a lot more color options, and so on as well. Uh, and if you go to bingocardprinter.com, you can download a free trial version of the software, try it out, see how you like it, and if you do like it, upgrade to the registered version which is what I'm showing in this video, which has a few more features, allows you to do everything that you've seen in this video, and a bit more besides as well. So check it out, bingocardprinter.com. Thank you very much.